Good evening. Connor O'Connor calling in. I know this is like amazing because I've got a couple of videos here just, you know, in the last couple of days. Uh, this is my review. Went to go see uh, Taken Two with Liam Neeson and I don't even remember any of the other people's names. You know, the, the main bad guy in that film uh, is one of the characters that died in, I want to say, the second Mission Impossible and I swear he has looked the exact same ever since. Anyways, so as with all my reviews, good, bad, different. I'm sorry about the light here. The, it's kind of making it kind of weird. Anyways, so good, bad, and different. So let's start with the good. F first of all, let's say Taken, the original film, is one of my favorites. If you notice the background here is a little bit different. I'm not in my office. Uh, the, the, the original Taken film is fantastic. It's one of my favorites. Um, the characterization, the fight scenes, the act, just real action in general, just a real decent action flick. And, and universally, people who sell girls into the sex trade, I think people dislike. There's no, like, there's, like, no, like, room for argument. Like, you sell people into the sex trade, you're pretty much a bad person. So, in this one, it, it picks up uh, probably some months, it indicates, after the first one. Uh, Liam Neeson's character is is back in the States trying to to work things out with with daughter and mom. Mom's going through a divorce um, because the, ri the, the rich husband from the first movies, I guess, is a tool. And so he is, is his father, Liam Neeson's character, is heading towards Istanbul for some sort of security job, it, it, it appears like. And, and he invites them, daughter and mother, to come with him. There's a love story here that I think is kind of meh. Um... I just don't think that the love story component was good. I, you know, maybe it's because they were awkward. Who, 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 who knows? Well, let's start with the good. What was good about this film is is, is that it was very action-packed, you know. Um, and, and I think they took some of the criticisms from the first movie and they made them... It, it sounded like they listened from the first movie. One of the criticisms from the first movie was is is Liam Nielsen is basically... You know, he, 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 he fights like Bruce Lee and hits like Mike Tyson's. Like, Mike Tyson, like, he would hit someone in the first movie and they just drop. So, you know, there, the, the fighting action sequence of this, of this one was much more believable. Lots of the martial arts stuff, one of the best scenes in the, in the movie is, is, when, is when Liam Neeson and his, his wife, Framed by Frankie something Yasmin. She was the girl. The reason I, I remember her, she's from the original um, Golden Eye, new ones of the the new series of Golden Eye with a new Bo James Bond movie. Excuse me, called Golden Eye, and she was uh, one of the bad guys, and that was one of the first movies I remember from him. And that's kind of a tidbit. But you know, he, they have this kind of hand to hand combat fight scene where they're using uh, extendable billy clubs. And, and he takes people out, but it wasn't like, I hit you once in the nose and, you know, you're fine. It, it, it was, they, they, it looks like they took some of the criticisms. Um, that is, you know, and it's a good action film and, you know, it was fun to watch. It was a fun movie. I mean, it was interesting, you know. Kind of see the aftermath, kind of see the relationship development, kind of see the growth of the daughter. She had some pretty, you know, uh, traumatic experience. And so... It was good to see all that. That's really where the good ends in this movie. I thought the, uh, uh, this movie had suffered from a, uh, a lot of problems. One, expectations from the first to the second one. Is, is how can you recreate that magic? I, I don't necessarily think that, it, that it's easy. And, and they had a hard time with it. I, I thought the flow of the movie was, was weird. It was kind of slow, and then it was fast, and then, you know, it, 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 was, it was weird. Um... Bad guys are stupid in this movie. Like, you know, when you kill the guy when you have the chance. Like, pull, pick up a gun and shoot him. You know, like, I, I feel like that, that and, and it's one of those everlasting cliches for bad guys in, 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 in movies or books or whatever the case may be. Don't be stupid. You know, you have the girl, okay, you're trying to hurt the, you have the girl, you have the mom, or you have the daughter or whatever. You have her and you're trying to hurt this guy. Put a bullet in his head. Put a bullet in her head. At the very least, she's dead. You know, it also goes to the, uh, the it speaks to the depth of uh, of people's idiotic soul. So the 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 actual plot line 
as I discussed a little bit earlier, is is, is that the, the all the people that he kills in the first movie have families and yada yada, and they, and they come back for revenge. Specifically, this older gentleman who Marco, who the 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 original guy who 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 took the daughter in the first place and said to him, "Good luck." Where he has that great line, Liam Neeson's character, great line in the first movie, where he's like, "I don't know you. I don't know who you are." You know, if you let my daughter go, I I will not find you, won't look for you, anything like that. But if you don't, I will find you, I will kill you. You know, and that's not verbatim, but it, it's something along those lines. And I kid you not, it's one of the most intense things in a movie I've seen. It was just, it was brilliantly done. So this guy who picks up the girl, it, it, it takes her into, you know, takes her, sells her basically into the sex slave uh, industry. And and this is that character, and so he Liam Neeson re actually recognizes Marco. Marco's father comes after Liam Neeson, and that and that's the crux of the storyline. And so he tries to kidnap daughter, tries to kidnap, um, who's played by Maggie Grace. Uh, daughter tries to pick up mom and tries to, and actually succeeds in picking up mom and almost almost killing her. So uh, um, I guess my 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 biggest gripe about this movie is is I thought the the flow was kind of improper. They spent a lot of time kind of warming up to the let's kill bad guys kind of thing. And then once they did, it was kind of, I don't know, it felt kind of lackluster. And maybe it's because the Avengers came out and, and you know, it's kind of hard to compare to a, a action movie now. Maybe it's because the first one was so good. I, I don't necessarily know. <clears throat> but suffice to say, it, it simply wasn't as good as, as the first one. There were some intense parts, um, but it simply wasn't good as, it was, as, far as, for, as good as the first one. Excuse me, I'm having a hard time talking tonight. The other problem I had with this film it was at the end. The main action sequence at the end is Liam Neeson is taking on like the main bodyguard of the old guy who's come after him. And the guy looks like a midget, you know, uh, nothing against short people or anything like that. But Liam Neeson is like 6'5", you know. 6'5", he's probably pushing 220 at least. I mean, he's a big guy. And this guy looks like a, a, a little Albanian midget. Like, he, he, he's probably 5'8", and he's, like, doing all this, like, martial T stuff with, with Liam Neeson, and it's just not very believable that this guy would be able to fight it. And don't get me wrong, like, and martial, martial arts are designed to be able to take on someone bigger, stronger, faster, but when you have a well-trained opponent... In a XCI operative like Liam Neeson's character is in this movie, like size and strength and height and reach matter. So I found that part kind of comical. I also found it pretty intense, kind of weak. Like the way that he kills, he 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 kills the main bad guy because you know he's gonna kill him. You know, so it's not really a spoiler. But he made the kill the bad guy. It was kind of weird. I, I, I don't know. Overall, I liked this movie. I'll probably see it again at some point, just because I like the first one so much. I like the characters. It's always good to see you to follow up. But do not go into this movie thinking it's as good as the first, because it's simply not. What else can I, what else can I say? Um, <clears throat> so recap, the good. Great to see the characters in. Had some good action sequ sequences. You know, it's, a, it's Liam Neeson kicking butt, taking names. Not really taking names, just kicking butt. Um... And, and that uh, that was great. Bad flow was off. <clears throat> oh, and the and the fight scenes were more 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 believable. Uh, bad flow was off. Flow was kind of weird. They had some like casting issues, I guess you could call them. Like the concept was okay, but it was good. And the bad guys are idiots. So, uh, would I do? Do I think you should go see this movie? Yes. If you liked the first one, I think you'll like this second. But don't expect too much. Reviews by Colin, I'm an attorney, and I'm a, a YA, young adult author. I know two very extremes. Check me out down here. I got free ebooks and and free audiobooks available to get into my stuff. Uh, check me out, colinearl.com, C-O-L-L-I-N-E-A-R-L. -L -L. There's links in the bottom. Go see Taken and, and come back, comment. Tell me what you think. Peace.